Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I have another quick unboxing for you guys. Now this comes from Colin at Devo Knives. And from the thumbnail you guys can see that it is the nip, which I really, really wanted to get in hand. And this is the prototype. But let's get right into it. I'm going to be unboxing it with my Devo Growler. Uh, this is the one I use at work every day, so a lot of tape residue and stuff. But let's dive right in. I remember when I saw this prototype on their Instagram, I knew I had to I had to get it in hand somehow. And luckily, me and Colin were talking, uh, I think, when I was doing his spy opera. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link up in the corner. You can check that out. But he was really happy with it, and we ended up talking about the nip. And he was kind enough to send it to me after blade show so yeah really really excited to uh again get this in hand it's a very small knife and i love small knives or mini knives stubby knives whatever you want to call them um but yeah obviously this is a prototype so it's not going to come in anything special but i love how small it is already definitely a, a cute size but let's take a close look at it. Here it is. And again, this is a prototype. And Colin told me there's going to be a few adjustments that they're going to do. So just want to let you guys know that. It is a little on the dirty side, but I mean, it's been to Blade Show. Uh, I believe he lent this out to somebody before me to take some pictures. Just a cute little pocket clip. Titanium. This is the all titanium version. And I believe they have liners. Uh... So you do have a hole for deployment, nice jimping, pivot collar with their logo in the pivot. So we got two screws, two body screws, reversible pocket clip, which I think is awesome since Kevin is a lefty. And this really cool beveled edge with that milling there. Really, really nice. Same here with the thumb access area. But let's give this thing a flick. And yeah, flies right out, no problem. And for a prototype, let's see. Yeah, very smooth. <laughs> um, really, really snappy for how small this thing is. And uh, reverse Tonto Warncliffe, I don't know what they're going to call it. I know I should know since I deal with knives all day, but my brain just can't think of it at the moment. But this is a nice, I believe a hollow grind. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it's a hollow grind and nicely beveled or chamfered on the inside of the holes. Nice access to the liner lock and the ergos are really, really good. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Spyderco Dragonfly. Not the look, but the ergos for how small that knife is. You can really choke up on it and almost get a full, full hand grip on this. So it does reach out to my pinky, so that's really nice. But overall, love this design. It it reminds me of the Brian Brown Knives Yeager. Not saying it is a copy of it, but it's it's very it has some some features that I really like on that knife, and that's probably why this knife stood out to me. So just a gorgeous, gorgeous design. Love the size, super smooth writing on bearings and you do have that flipper tab which is I'd say it's uh, on the minimal side so it doesn't really become uh, too bothersome and this is this one is titanium but I believe they're gonna have carbon fiber versions as well and the access to the lanyard hole here is is definitely interesting it's different uh, I don't really care for lanyard holes but this will have it Backspacers titanium, mill titanium pocket clip, which I really, really like. And it does not create a hot spot, which is really, really good. Um, choked up and just kind of disappears. Reverse grip for a small knife. Yeah, surprisingly comfortable. And again, I do like where that jimping is. It's not all the way in the back where you're not going to use it. So just really, really cool. And I just noticed that little swedge here up in the front. Nice little detail, and I do like the stone wash on the blade. I'm a big fan of stone wash blades. 
I'm gonna I pretty much do that to all my blades, but nice stone wash on the titanium. And like I said earlier, really smooth. Spidey flick, no problem. Thumb flick, no problem. And that flipper tab works really, really well. And the acoustics are really, really nice on this. For how small it is, it's definitely makes a, a big sound. And I wanted to check the tension on the pocket clip. So yeah, the pocket clip is nice and strong. Let me know down below what you guys think. Uh, if, if you guys are gonna pick one of these up when they drop. But I'm gonna be pocketing this for maybe a couple days or as long as Colin lets me uh, have, a, have a go at it. So I will let you guys know before I send it back of what I think of it and how it performs. But so far, really, really cool. And then the steel. This is D2 steel. I don't know what the uh, production is going to have, but thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.